Hello Minecrafters, Nonsanity here, and welcome to episode 8 of my Let's Play. Uh, we're going to get some stuff done today, but first I'm just going to make my rounds, see what the various machines we've built are doing and the various constructions, see if anything needs any emergency interventions for the day. Uh, please pardon my cold, my, my voice, I've got a cold. Please pardon my cold, I have a voice. I might not for long, depending on how the cold goes. For the moment, I seem to be okay, and I'll try and edit out all the sneezes and coughs, <laughs> so you won't have to be bothered by them. So if you hear a little glitch, or a change in my tonation, in how I'm saying things, it's probably because of that. I apologize in advance, but hopefully you won't notice it. Alright, so let's set off down to the mob room, and uh, see what needs to be done down there. Well, the uh, double chest here that was collecting the drops, that was overflowing. So uh, I'm going to make some deep storage with the ender pearls I got. I turned two of, some of them into eyes of ender. And now I can make 16 of these deep storage units. And well, I can't just put it there because... Alright, let's see here. We're going to break that. Put that down. Put a chest down here. And say instead of blacklisting those, let's whitelist ender pearls and always on. So now anything that goes in there from the drops no that shouldn't have gone. Did it get my... Yeah, it's, some, for some reason it doesn't always take when you whitelist. So now it's a whitelist? Good, alright. So now I can put all this stuff in there. When I put the pearls in, the pearls should go in and everything else will stay in here. Alright. I can take it out for now. So that'll fill up with the pearls only, which will, which is what we get the most of. And I'll slap that down just so that we've got, you know, I'll put these in here as placeholders because they'll, they'll, there will be more of these, I'm sure. All right, so that'll take care of the ender pearls for a little while. <laughs> uh, the, the, the reactor, I think, is just about out of power and we're completely out of uh, mob essence. And this one probably just got, yeah, just a witch showed up at some point, obviously. Just random drops from uh, mobs that were spawning in the dark room. Alright, so it's not, not too bad. We definitely need to get some more mob essence. So we have to upgrade this with more grinders and rework the wiring a little bit. But, uh, yeah, I'll come back and we'll do that. Continuing my rounds, check on the reactor. I decorated and uh, gave it as much eulorium as it wants, so it's full up now. But it was running way too hot. It's still running too hot, but not as nowhere near as bad as it was. It was producing maybe seven R no, it's like six something thousand RF per tick, and it was using 0.8 millibuckets per tick. So by just putting the control rods in here, I lowered them down to 80% in, all all nine of them. Just by clicking these up and downs here, I just click them all up to 80, and that cooled it off a good bit. It's still running too hot, and this difference between the core heat and the casing heat, that's why it's so inefficient. And that's why we need a coolant to transfer the heat from the core here to the outer casing, so we need something in between. I could put water there but it's not much better than air, so let's wait until we can put some uh, resonant ender. So now that we have all those ender pearls, it's producing 5,000 KRF per tick, and it's using 0.1 millibuckets, 0.1 and a half or so. Not great, but you know, without any coolant, uh, that's to be expected. Uh, it really sucked in a whole, almost a whole stack of eulorium blocks to fill it up. So that was, you know, nine stacks of eulorium ingots. And still has a little bit left, but uh, that was almost all my eulorium. And that, thankfully it takes them in blocks as well as in ingot form. Probably has some, yep, we got some 40, it's gone through 45 ingots. It's burned through over the night. Now, uh, because it's completely full, it really should shut down. Uh, so we're going to make some changes to it real quick here. I'm going to make these two reactor redstone ports and get some more redstone here. 
I'm not sure if I can do this on the top. Let's try it on the top, see if it works. So we're going to break it, and we're going to put in... Uh, yep, they have to be on the side at least. So I guess they're going to go here in the front. Didn't want to mar my window with uh, ports, but eh, this is just a temporary reactor anyway. There we go. Let's turn it back on again. Oop. What, it doesn't like that? Did I forget something? Did I break too much? Let me check. Oh, yep, I broke... Damn, I broke one of the... Two of the fuel rods. Oop, not there. When I was breaking these, I broke two fuel rods. That's a waste of power. So I don't think you get the fuel back from those. So there was 40 in here before. That's eh, still 40. Okay, I guess guess they're okay. And now I got to put these ports back in the front here. Got to be careful. <laughs> Turn it back on. All right, it's going to heat back up again. Its power was dropping off. Now we're going to program these things. We're going to say when the energy amount is below 90% committed. So when the battery power is less than 90%, it'll output a redstone signal to this one. And that will turn it on. Set from signal. So now the power is not going down right now, but it will slowly. And when it drops below 90%, this thing will power this redstone, which will... It's basically acting like a switch. When it's this redstone is off, the reactor is off. When this comes on, the reactor is on. That's what this set from signal. So these two ports will regulate it so that it stays 90% full. Once it gets to 90% full, this will shut off and it'll cool off. But as it's cooling off, it's still producing energy. So it'll fill up a bit more. But uh, yeah, that, that should keep it from wasting fuel now. Alright, I think my work here is done for the moment. We'll come back later and uh, see about putting some coolant in here. But uh, we're going to have to do some prep, prep work for that. Continue on my rounds. Continuing my rounds, we come to the tree farm in the mining age. And, uh, well, I used up all the graphite that I needed and still had lots left over. And it made another 64 stacks overnight. Forgot to shut that down. But I will use the graphite for other things. And... It's now shut itself down because the barrel's full. And now it's making... It looks like this barrel's almost full of charcoal. And then we have two, three, four full barrels of wood with another three-quarters barrels worth, probably. So, and the apples are still doing okay. So these are still not quite full, and uh, these are as full as they need to be. Probably not much I need to do here. Uh, I was going to replace it with... Well, I could still do that. Let's replace some of them with deep storage units. Uh, mainly the wood. So if I break this, it's going to make a huge mess. But I should be able to fix it pretty quick. So let's make the mess. Drop it down. Put some wood in it. So now it's just wood. And then let my magnet collect it all. Most of it. Let's get the rest. Alright, there. Just load it up. Nice thing about these, now when you break them, break it, it keeps what it's got in it. And I'll worry about transferring the rest. Oh, no. I, let's let the pipes do it for me turn this into an extract there it goes and this one into extract and this one to extract just do that to all the woods and it'll move the contents to the deep storage unit all by itself save me the work Two more. There. 
And I should do one for the apples, too. I can do that later. And I don't think I need to do anything with these two. I'll just leave them as they are. All right, well, that's fine. And uh, I guess I could harvest... Uh... <laughs> this is where I was growing the uh, sugar cane using the purloined farming station. But it ran out of power. I wonder if it can burn sugar cane now. Could if I cooked it. But hey, over here we've got plenty of charcoal. So let's... Whoa, I did not mean to do that. Let's put that back. No, not that. Get it all? Nope. All right, <laughs> fixed. Just give me. <laughs> Actually, one stack was enough. That's all it can take. And toss that in. And let it do the harvesting. Looks like it's harvesting from the bottom, and some of it's turning into drops and my magnet's picking it up. Yep, and then it picks it up. Alright. So all's good here. I think the rounds are done and it's time to put ender fluid in the reactor or start making applied energistics. Let's start the ender cooking into liquid first. That's going to take a little while, melting down the ender pearls. So we'll do that. Okay, to make the liquid ender, the resonant ender, for our reactor to surround our core and transmit the, the heat from the core to the uh, casing, we're going to need to melt ender pearls in the magma crucible. Now we're not going to need the fluid, fluid transposer, so we can turn off the output there and move it to the side and make a... actually I think I've got some extra drums in my pouch of many things so I'll put one of those right there and we can get some of the ender pearls I've brought up from the mob farm and let's uh... so we want to feed these through it we can just do a hopper I guess let's just do that do I have a chest on me? Nope. Let's make one. Everything I'm doing so far in this beginner base is temporary. Even the mob farm downstairs. That's not how I want it to be going forward. It's just sort of what I can do now and it will get better and be able to do more things, hopefully very soon. Um, but I won't be moving very soon, so it won't be perfect until much later. Let's get a chest up there. Now I can just toss the pearls in there, and they should feed right in. Yep, there they go. I'll still do some upgrades to the mob farm. In fact, I might do that today as well, after we get the reactor... Uh, liquefied here but uh, it won't be final until I've started to create the, the new final base I haven't picked a place for it but I know roughly how it's going to look in my head and we'll have to see what the if my plans uh, work but it's it'll be a similar design that I've done before so it won't be completely off the wall all right, let's see in here now. We're going to have to put buckets in a number of places. So the reactor is off already because of this. Uh, actually, let me see the screen here. Is it likely to want to turn on? No, we got nothing's using it. <clears throat> the only other end of the Tesseract is down in the mob farm, and that's off because it has no mob essence currently. This thing is on slow, right? Now it is. That's better. So I'm just going to break every other one here, which uh, 
Let's move this chest. Well, forgot the hole there. <laughs> move that chest there. Okay. And I'll break this one, and this one, and this one, and I guess this one. That way I should be able to get at everything. Alright, so how much we got in here? 13, it's a start. Let's, let's swap barrels. Take this one with us. Let it fill that one up. All right, we'll just set this. Whoop, set this. Come on, set this down in the middle. Get ourselves a bucket and start placing. It will flow some, so you don't. The flowing blocks are good enough. So this, let well, surely the corner doesn't matter at all in this case. But uh, I don't have to put one here in the middle because it's all going to flow. There it goes. And we want one there, and one there, and one there, 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 and there. That should actually fill everything, so I really didn't need too much. <laughs> The final reactor design I'm going to do, it won't be good enough to put one block of Ender and let it flow all the way down. It's going to have to be solid blocks, of solid source blocks of Ender, because there's going to be four layers of liquid before you get to the core. The core will still be the same size as this, but the reactor will be larger and there'll be four median spaces. The first three going out from the core will be liquid cryothium, and the last one, just in front of the reactor casing, will be this liquid ender. All right, so this, let's just go ahead and force it to turn on. And, <clears throat> actually, I don't think I needed to break that. The manual override turns it on. And we'll see how hot it gets. How is this doing? So I'll, I'll let it keep making more of this. Actually, I'll probably transfer the little bit that's in this one over, so I have an empty barrel. Do I have any of the liquid conduit? I do. Just quickly transfer it between these two. And that one's empty. And it usually takes a moment for the colored stripes to go away. There it went. All right, we'll leave that running. That's fine. And I'll put away the bucket, the drum, and the fluid. All right, so the reactor should be running much better now. Let's see how it looks. Oh, yeah, look at that. 12,000 RF. And now this, these two are at the same temperature. So it's doing its job. It's taking the core heat and moving it into the casing. And as a result, it's running far more efficiently. Look, we're even using less than we were, and we're making a lot more. So it's definitely worth it to put that fluid in there. But I'm going to turn it off because it's full up. This will turn it on if it ever drops down. So it's all set. Still probably has around 39 or 40. Still has 40 blocks of Eulorian. All right. Well, let me gather up a few things. And uh, then let's upgrade and get going our mob farm. Right now it can't work because there's only one grinder. So we need some more grinders. I'll be right back. All right, so we need to put in two more of these grinders. I think I got everything I need. Um, I'm still short on leather at the moment, so I'm using a, the uh, blank pattern Tinker's Construct recipe for books. So now I've got two books. There is definitely a slime somewhere in the caves around this. There we go. Two more grinders. Oop, I need to put the other. Two more grinders. I also wanted to make some more item conduits. Oh, those slimes are annoying. Let's go slime hunting. Still on slow. Where is it? Let's uh, speed this thing up a little bit. Normal? There we go. Normal. Not over here. Where is he? There he is. 
Yeah, when, I was, when the turtle was digging out the second half of the room, there's another one. Sounds like it's above me. I don't see it over here. There he is. I see him. Come here, noisy. I could use the slimes anyway. I don't have too many. Yay, alright. Let's go back in. <laughs> Oh, don't know where he came from. <laughs> I'm glad this thing is a pretty good weapon. <laughs> good reflexes. And seal it back up. All right, back to what we were doing with a little less noisy interruptions. Oh, you notice I did put some... This is chiseled glowstone blocks. Uh, I put them in just so that the interior was lit up because both of these spawners will work in full light. But I didn't want to get all those extra mob drops, this string and the gunpowder and you know all the other random mobs that were spawning in there. Now if I hit F7, nothing lights up. You can't see it. There's no dark places in there. All right, so let's break this out and the one below it and put down two more grinders. All right, step one. Now they need power, so I've got my energy conduits here okay they're going to need to have items to come out so add that in and they're also going to output mob essence so hook that up and I'm just going to leave them all on the default which is in and out which should work just fine all right so I guess we can turn it on and see what happens. And that's going to be over here. Turn that on. It's going to get noisy. I'm going to have to make a sound canceling block and stick it in here. All right. Once they start going, the uh, mob essence starts flowing and we get Enderman. And it looks like the grinders are keeping up now. Oh, uh, I don't know. Let's see. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I guess it's working. It's sort of hard to tell. I don't see any more spawning, so maybe the spawner does automatically stop when there's a certain number available. They are getting killed. All right, well, I guess I'll let it go for a little bit and come back later and see how it's doing. Ooh, 161 ender pearls. It's nice. Oh, I got a creeper head, too. So let's take this other stuff out, and we should never see any more of this in here. Same with the one down below. This chest should now only have blaze rods in it ever. That'll have to be replaced with a deep storage, actually. Uh, let's do that. Let's uh, get one of my deep storages, and let me turn down <laughs> the volume there. I uh, yeah, I got the deep storages on me. Good. Oop. Just one, please. Let's put that there. Not a fluid conduit, but an item conduit. There. Oh, I don't have a filter. Can I make a filter? I need to get rid of some of this stuff for the moment. I need a chest like that and five iron. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, and then paper. I don't have any paper. I can make the hopper part, but to make a, a filter you need four pieces of paper around it. And I don't have that on me. So, all right. I'll come, well, I guess if I prime it, if I put some blaze rods in here, 
and then tell it to extract all the time and insert here. Okay, yeah, only the blaze rods will go in because only the blaze rods can. So the rest of this will just stay in here, but I'm going to take it out. So if it's in there, it's going to stay in there. All right, good. Now we can hold a, about 2 billion uh, blaze rods and 2 billion ender pearls. So I think that can run for a while, and it's being powered from the reactor. So I think that's set. I don't think there's anything more we need to do to that for a little while. Um, I should have gotten the trash can when I was pulling it out before. Because I'm getting tired of just chucking things in the water. There it is. So I'm just going to set that there and delete some of these things that I don't want. Okay. And that. Alright, let me clean up my inventory and we'll see what's next on the list. Okay. I think I've got most of what we need to get started in applied energistics. I just need some quartz dust. Now I went out with my digital miner and I got lots of quartz ore. I had to just get that. Ran it through the enrichment chamber here and <laughs> that makes a lot of dust. I think it makes four for each ore. And the nice thing about this stuff is you can put it back through the enrichment chamber. So you put the ore through the enrichment chamber once and it'll convert it into I think four dust. Run that through and it converts it back into Certus Quartz. So I'm going to take a whole lot of this and go ahead and feed it back in. But most of it I'm going to turn into pure Certus Quartz. This stuff. Which will double it again. So we'll get plenty of that. But like I said, I needed a little bit of that. Just take out uh, 16 is enough. So I still need to start making things. I need some quartz glass like that. And that'll give me some quartz glass. I need three of that. Redstone. Oop, lag there. That was weird. Bit of glowstone. Piece of iron. Gives you these illuminated panels. Let's see now. I need two of those. No. Yes. Yes, two of those. Some Fluix dust. A that. And that. These give me the formation and annihilation cores. Take those with the illuminated panel and I think a logic processor. Yes, ME terminal. Those are extras. I now want to make it a crafting terminal, so we need a crafting table. The ME terminal, and I think a calculation processor. Yes, there we go. All right. Now I also want to make some cable here. So like that. And then these two to make that. All right. Oh, I still need the drive, and I'm going to need a cell. The drive. What was the drive? I think it was engineering processors, piece of cable, and iron. Oh, I need another piece of iron. Or am I getting that recipe wrong? I could be getting that wrong. Let's see here. That was wrong. Where's the drive? Well, it'll be so nice to be able to craft things in the applied energistics system itself. Okay, I need, need two of those. <clears throat> There's that. And now we need a cell. Uh, let's go with a 16k cell. So we've got some more quartz glass. we got that. Redstone, I can get that. Glowstone, I can get that. I'm going to need three of these, which means nine of these. So I need nine logic processors, quartz. All right. I got, I put lots of raw materials in here. So I've got it, lots of everything except for the diamond one. So I don't need too many of those. I'll just take a whole stack. Why not? <laughs> I got the, got the room. I'm going to need some of this redstone. I might as well borrow it from here. Uh, what, what else was in there? Let's go back to this. 
uh, just the low level. So we need calculation processors, three of them, nine quartz and redstone. All right, get the quartz. I should have lots of pure quartz here. Good. That, that, and make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I like doing the uh, 16K just to start out because I do have a lot of some things. I can only hold 63 things. Um, but I don't want to have to upgrade them later. I can, I think. I think you can upgrade them. Quartz glass. All right, let's see. Next step is engineering processor, glowstone, quartz glass. So you need some glowstone. I got that here. I can clear out this recipe. Need some quartz glass. These things. The engineering processor. Good calculation processor. Isn't it? I think. I think I only need three. Oh, there we go. And redstone, I think it was. Is that right? Yes. One, two, three. Oh, more redstone. Need one more piece of redstone. I'll just take more. All right, three. Three of those. Gets you the... Yes, and another engineering processor. So one more engineering processor. Redstone gives... No, not redstone at that stage. Glowstone, yes, right. I knew that. I knew that. I forgot it. I blame the cold medication. Still not right. So probably what's in the center is wrong. Quartz glass... Engineering. Now I've got calculation. Just need the engineering one. They look too similar. <laughs> There's that. Okay. Now we just need the housing for it to go into. Two more quartz glass. Oh, and I only have one. So I need to make a little bit more quartz glass. So I have the materials at least. That, that. Oh, got extra. And here. I'll just go ahead and make up enough for two batches. There we go. All right, so there's glass here, here, core in the center, iron at the bottom, uh, and then redstone. All right. Ta da! All right, now where I'm going to put it <clears throat> is right here. Because I already have an energy acceptor. I'm just going to bury this in the floor, stick a cable on top of it, and then put my crafting unit on top of that, crafting terminal on top of that. Really minimal, just to get started. Lights up. I have storage. Put things in it. Well, not everything yet. Well, let's put in the things that make it easier to make another cell. So let me put a few more things in here and we'll make another couple cells. I'll be right back. Okay, we've got some stuff in here. Now let's see how much faster it is to craft another 16K in here. All right, so we want the 16K, which needs some quartz glass. Let's make two of those. Um, it's gonna need nine of these one two three four five six seven eight nine it's gonna need three of these one two three it's gonna need one of these and the final product just so much faster that way <laughs> now i'm going to make just a couple of uh, 4ks so again Let's do four, let's see, six to twelve. Twelve. Turn them all into these. 
and make some 4Ks. One, two, need some more of this. Now, um, all the time when you've got your inventory here, and you could type, uh, by default, the keys are R to get the recipe of whatever your cursor is over, or U to see how you could use it. Now, when you're in here, if you type R, it just shows up here in the search box. But if you hold down Control R, it'll give you the recipes. So I can do Control R and get more of, uh, and Shift clicking the question mark sends the recipe and fills it in from the inventory. There, just that easy. Four of these. Now I can go about taking everything in my system and dumping it in here. Actually, I want to put that there and dump. Haha, <laughs> clear that. I'm just going to fill cobble down here. There. It's now just a matter of coming over here, space clicking. Coming over here, space clicking. I may need a few more drives, or this may be enough. I'm not sure. But I will continue doing this, get everything in here. And I'll see you in a bit. Well, it's all in there. All my stuff. I like sorting it by uh, number of items. So, of course, cobble is the most common. Apples are actually my second, and then quartz. It's always interesting to see those relative amounts. And all the chests are now gone. And as you can see, it's a blood moon. I may edit the system to turn that off. I always seal up the doorway just in case anything spawns where it normally wouldn't because of the blood moon. I've been watching I've been watching playback of one of the clips while still logged in and I was I was finding some I think I was finding the blazes in the dungeon and uh it sounded like I was taking a lot more damage than I remember taking. And then when the fighting stopped, and I still hear, was hearing the damage sounds, I switched back to the game, and yeah, I was standing right here, looking at this, and I turn around, there's a zombie wailing on me. <laughs> Thankfully, my arm was pretty good, because it hadn't done any permanent damage yet. But yeah, I mean, some of the... This thing looks pretty cool in the Blood Moon. All the greens look very vivid, sort of teal. But aside from that, I'm not a fan of the Blood Moon. It's just an annoyance. I may turn it all the way off, or I may just make it so you can sleep through it and get rid of it. I haven't decided yet. I haven't done edit any editing of the configure. I haven't done any editing of the configuration files yet, although there is a few things I want to change. All right, so we now have a fully fledged AE system. It's minimal. And it may actually be completely full. Let's see, let's see what it's... Uh, I can't see it because of this cable in the way. All right, so we're, these are full. And that one is em completely empty still. This one has more than half of its room left. All right. That's not bad. I got a, I got the right amount. Whoops. With some room to grow. All right, so our... That's... Looks like the blood mood is ending now. Let's take down the barricade. It seems that the mob farm is doing well. Oh, down here. I'm going to turn down the volume a bit again. Oop, just turn it down. How are we doing for ender pearls? Whoa, 734. Oh, I forgot about the... No, I did, did put a... I did put a deep storage unit. 839. <laughs> Not bad for maybe an hour since I did that. But I'll leave it running. These can take like two billion or something like that. A little over two billion. So uh, no worries about it filling up. Going to get more and more of the heads. But that's okay. Was this getting anything in the chest? Nothing at all. Okay. All right. Well, that I can leave that just running. It's doing just fine. Now, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do next. So I'll be right back. Okay, we're just gonna finish up the episode with a little bit of rewiring of everything. I've filled up the drive. I've got 164, two 16s, 
and the rest are all fours. So these fours will hold things I just have one or two of, and, or some small quantities of things. These are for the moderate, and then things like cobble and redstone and iron that I'll end up getting a lot of go in the 64. And that should tie me over for a good long while. Uh, now, uh, this stuff only holds 640 RF. That's not enough now. We're, it's, we're starting to upgrade. Let's take all this pink stuff down and rip up the floor a little bit to get at all of it. Down this way. Oh yeah, it goes all the way over to the inscribers. Let's turn my magnet on. Where's my magnet? It probably got stuck in the in here. Magnet? Oops. Oh yeah, it has no power. Let me let me wire that back up again. <laughs> that one we need to have power to. Oh, not there. Over this way. At least get power to that. All right, there we go. Magnet. Thank you. Now I can break these and they'll come to me. And get the bit that goes up at the top. And now let's start replacing it all. This is the stuff that the top tier, 20,000 RF. And none of these machines here are going to need that much. But uh, I just want it all converted over. So there's no doubt that everything is going to get all the power it needs. this side for those machines and now I also want to move this so let's break that I guess I can leave the energy acceptor there I'll, oh no I want the switch still alright so I'll lay some extra cable this way Yeah. Basically, I want my AE over here on the wall. Yeah, just bring it over here. I'm going to put it right there. So I'll bring up the back. Right like that. And we'll stick it there. And I'm going to put the drive. Let's put the drive just below it for now. Seems like a good spot. Put all the cells back in. Like that. Uh, finish laying the cable. To the energy acceptor. And then cover it. Whoops. Cover it all back up. Do I have that one? Yeah, there it is. All right, now let's make a let's make it a little bit prettier here. Let's do a. We want an anchor, cable anchor. Oh, there it is. We need to make the nether quartz. I make the anchor. A bunch of them. I'll just make a whole stack. I just make it until it runs out. There. All right. And now we want to do a facade. Uh, there's lots. Of, well, I know how to. I know the recipe. I don't need to put it in because I want to do it with this cobblestone. Let's see if I can do that. Get the anchors around like that. Cool. I should just be able to slap that there and there. It's, it doesn't continue the uh, borderless texture, but it looks nicer on the wall there, and everything is accessible. Oh, yes. I made a bunch of tesseracts. One of these... This one I haven't used. Put 
that back in. I'm going to stick this one right here. Make it private. Okay, it is private. Uh, receiving energy only. There. Now that will supplement. Oh, and this. I guess all this has to change. Because I don't think these two cable types connect, do they? Put the conduit. I don't think they'll connect. Nope. So all this has to change. All the way up here to the now fairly obsolete <laughs> wind generators. Oh, and I ran out. Really? Just need two more, huh? Yeah, of course that would happen. No more left. All right. Can I make more with what I got in there? Uh, this one? I don't have enough vibrant. Is there any still cooking? Because I did already have to make up some. Oh, good. I still have enough left. So I can make the last few pieces of that. Actually, I'm going to need a lot, so I just made all of it. And boom. I've seen this was flickering on and off now that it's being used for power. As soon as that drops down to 90, it turns on. This little connection is working well. I've been seeing it flicker on and off every now and then. How are we doing for... Still hasn't even gone to the next one. It's looking good. It's a little dark in here. Let's put some torches up. There we go. All right. I think that was a good day. Got lots of nice stuff done. Let's get a stack of cobble to carry around. End of the day, charge up my... Can we get in there? Oh, we lagging? Oh, no, that's strange. Doesn't like me clicking it with a torch. Alright, there we go. New storage system. So much nicer. Since I moved it, I have to change the setting. There we go. And I like tall. I can see more. Alright, uh, well, next episode I might be starting the new base. I think we've got all the power we need. This is producing plenty of power. Currently more than we need. Um, we've got lots of stuff. Uh, the block that I want to do a lot of my building out of is this one which is crafted this way start with those but then you have to chisel it uh, where's my chisel sort chisel is missing is it in here no it's got to be there Huh, I must have lost it at some point. It's usually near the bottom. It's not there. Alright, well. Oops. Chisel. There it is. Make a new one. Ah, I don't have any sticks. <laughs> don't have any wood. Is there any wood? Oak? Yes, I've got oak. Alright. Make a couple stacks of that. stacks of that. Make a chisel. Thank you. So you put this through the chiseler and you get this stuff. Which I think, it makes a nice sound. <laughs> stuff has a really nice look to it. And this is what I'm going to be working with. But I'm going to need to find a place. So, uh, fast. There we go. <laughs> I'll need to find a place to build it, so I'll probably be scouting around for that. And uh, we'll start designing the final base. 
and moving things over there. Looking forward to that. Hope you are too. But that's it for this episode. This is Nonsanity signing out, and uh, see you later.